Average temperatures in Iowa tend to reflect whether it was a dry or wet year, but it may become tougher to decipher as we begin to experience both drought and flood. Meteorologist Amber Alexander joins us now to explain. Amber, what's going on? Yeah, I explained earlier this week that drought conditions and sunny skies can make temperatures heat up a little bit more. And on the other side, with more cloud cover and moisture, temperatures don't get as hot. But we're starting to see a bit of both, the drought and excessive moisture in the same year. Drought tends to form over the course of several years, while just a few weeks or months of excessive rainfall can mean the difference between drought and flood for some areas. In August of 2018, parts of southern Iowa experienced uh, extreme drought. You can see there in that red color. And uh, in the northern part of the state, we had uh, more than five inches of uh, above average precipitation, but the southern part of the state five inches below average. And it was only 100 miles north that we saw that big difference. These extremes are going to co-mingle because you could go four counties north in 2018 from southeastern Iowa and be in record wetness. So those are the things that were the gradient between wet and dry is going to increase. This year, we're seeing some of the same features, but in a more localized area. Parts of northwest and southeast Iowa are dealing with that drought. You can see in southeast Iowa, we have the abnormally dry. Up into northwest Iowa, we have all the way up to severe drought. But in, or in central Iowa, parts of Boone, Story, and Dallas counties are also more than five inches above average for precipitation amounts. And state climatologist Justin Gleason says trends do show that extreme wet and extreme dry conditions will be occurring closer in proximity, both at the state level and the regional level, level more often going forward. Yeah, we can see that map really show some of those yeah. pockets where we just need the rain if we could get it. Exactly. All right, thanks a lot, Amber. Yeah, that does, you said we do need the rain and yep. we might get some this weekend. Amber's right on. I, I love uh, Gleason as well. He does a great job helping us out with our climatology and just where we are right now, we are